presentations on the books that were kind of the best team in basketball. Uh, last year, if everybody was aware of or watched the NBA Finals last year, we won. And, like, pretty good, actually. <laughs> we haven't won championships since the Magic League 75, so I was with you, so I went to the parade and everything. It was crazy, the atmosphere was crazy and everything. So the knock on the Warriors last year was, you know, they got lucky. A lot of people from the West were injured, you know, but I mean, if you really break it down and everything, we played all the the first team, all West players of last year and everything. And we had a small run. So sorry about uh, the four year drop. So previous to last season, the Warriors hadn't won a championship since 75. Uh, I broke it down within a decade span. The Warriors have had uh, nine lottery picks with only four remaining on the team still. And uh, within a decade span, we've made the playoffs four times. Uh, my thesis is I believe the Golden State Warriors were the best team in basketball within the 2014-15 season, not because they just won the finals and everything, but because they dominated on both ends of the court on the offensive and defensive ends. So I talk about the offensive statistics. So we averaged 110 points per game, which led the NBA last year. Uh, we averaged 27.4 assists per game, which led the NBA last year. Shot about 48% from the field last year, which also led the NBA. And we shot 40% from the field, which also led the NBA. Uh, this little clip I put in just to show the playing style of the Warriors. Uh, yeah, on the right, can you see the left? Or should I put it down like that? Just quit playing with you, keep going. The Warriors have been playing with great pace and much improved ball movement from their 51 win season a year ago. Nate Thompson. You have to love your selfishness by the Golden State Warriors making the extra pass. The bigs are very good passers. They chase the ball out of the mismatch, get it to Thompson for three. If you even know the steps that think you're going to double team somebody, they make that pass quick. So this right here, is, if everybody doesn't know who this is, is Charles Barkley, uh, Hall of Famer. Uh, of course, they they had a terrific season by having the jump shooting team. I don't like jump shooting teams. I think you can make enough jumpers to win four series in a row. I said that for 25 years, not just now. I think they physically man handled them and saw it. So Charles Barkley was wrong. <laughs> uh, and the result, he had to wear the shirt. So, uh, Talk about the, about the team chemistry. Uh, this is Draymond Green, a uh, starting power forward for the Golden State Warriors. And, uh, his quote is, uh, the shooting is great, but it goes far beyond that. Playing with those guys, the way they conduct themselves, with what they bring to the team, it's not about them. It's not ego involved with it, and it makes them a pleasure to play with, a pleasure to be around. When you have guys of the stature, Steph has really already moved into stardom, superstardom. Players moving into it, and you don't see a change. It's still even kill, and it's still who we are. Who they are. That does a lot for the team chemistry. When you're two main guys, you're two dogs, you're two go getters, have an attitude. And uh, that was be selfish for having ego. So, uh, 
the Warriors last year, they had two All Stars, Clay Thompson from uh, he's from Washington State, and uh, very much knows uh, Steph Curry from uh, Davidson. Um, the thing that stands out to them the most is the fact that their demeanor and their personality and everything is not like overly like egotistic and everything. Like I mean, you have LeBron, LeBron's real, you know, ritual ceremony. You have Kobe, even though he's retired this year and everything, he's real, you know, in a sense, egotistic and everything. But with the Warriors team, what makes them so I feel like they're so good is because from the their superstars from the top to their role players to their coaches and everything, it's not about it's, you know, everybody's a team, we share the ball, you know, everybody's looking to get the best shot for the next person, and, you know, it's a fun way to watch them play and everything. So here's another quote uh, from head coach Steve Kerr. Uh, yeah, I know there's been all, all this talk this year, especially about the three-point shot and how um, and KD1 is shooting it. There's a lot of different styles that can work. You have to base it on your own personnel, but I think what's probably overlooked all year long was that what really wins is a combination of great offense and great defense. We had the number one defense in the league. We had the highest scoring team in the league. We were number one in assists. We were number one in field goal percentage defense. When you get the combination that you're going to be pretty good, whether you're shooting threes or two, it's all about the balance. And when it's tight early, you have to be able to make stops. You've got to show yourself together at crucial times. You've got to find a way to score. So pretty much, uh, you know, both ends of the court, the Warriors dominated and everything. So the defensive statistics, the average 9.3 steals per game, which ranked number three in the NBA. Average 6.3 blocks per game, which ranked number four in the NBA. Um, they ranked number 25 in fouls per game at 22.7. You can't really see that because the pictures are already blocked in. But uh, they led the league in a sense of turnover ratio, which was a 1.883. So pretty much they defend on the defensive end at the same time, too. They take care of the ball and everything. So, they limit their amount of turnovers and limit the amount of time to the team gets to the free throw.